I shouldn't be allowed to touch wiring. That shouldn't be allowed. Sparks in my pocket. It's starting to look a little tornado-y out to me. Uh, hi. I'm Andy. I don't think I've ever formally introduced myself on this channel, but there's a few people here now, so hi. So, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> for those of you that know, I'm converting a bus into a house. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm converting a bus into a house. It's a story you've heard a few times now, I'm sure. It's not that rare, at least on the internet. It's been a minute since I've offered you an update. So join me on the couch and I'll give you an update. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this is where the couch is gonna be though. Anyways, my friends, I honest- There's forks in my pocket. I honestly don't know what I'm doing at all. Before we started this project, I had never even used a drill before. Uh, to my credit, I've learned a lot. I can now use a drill, which is pretty cool. To be honest with you, this bus is taking over my life a little bit. I just, I don't know why I had the audacity to think that I could get this done in eight months. And um, the real kicker is that our lease is up in two months. And as you can see, this is not in a livable state. There have been a great many failures since I last saw you and some successes. So let me get you caught up. The last time I saw you, the bus, um, was a mess of wires and we were removing the AC unit and then I had to go home early because of anxiety. So just girly things, you know? Since then, we have removed all of the extra wiring, which was probably about 50 pounds worth. It took us forever because we discovered that if you screw it up, the bus will not turn on and the parking brake won't release. So no pressure or anything. Then we sealed the floor to protect it from rust. This stuff is really blue. We'll never see it again though, so it's okay, it's fun, I like it. I wish it was pink or something, that'd be cute. This was our first day not working on demolition. My f***ing back hurt so bad from painting into the night, but the payoff was huge. Okay, well maybe not a huge payoff, but there was a payoff. The next day, I woke up really committed to get more back pain. Right then, I think I'm gonna start by cutting these into just like little squares. At this point, you may be asking yourself, what do you mean by that, Andy? What do you mean you're committed to getting more back pain? Also, you're old, LMAO. Well, let me tell you. I spent another entire day on my hands and knees on the bus floor, filling, I'm not even joking, 800 teeny tiny little holes with mesh and silicone. And uh, in conclusion, uh, no more back. It's starting to look a little tornado-y out to me. Hold on, I'm gonna check the weather. Something suspicious is happening. I was correct, and there was actually a tornado watch. But pay no mind to my miraculous tornado spidey senses, because I decided to stay and work on the bus anyways. I would have rather siliconed my own mouth shut than have filled all of these holes, but I got it done, and it was a lot more gratifying than siliconing my own mouth shut. Who would have thought? We rust-proofed the struts that our solar panels are going to be mounted to, and removed the emergency exit hatches and covered them with metal, which turned out to be an absolute mistake and we lost our roof access for literally no f***ing reason. I guess this is why some people would hire professionals to build their bus house or regular house, I guess, but alas, I cannot do that. Anyways, we were finally ready at that point to start on the subfloor. We put down 2x2s two -twos and foam board insulation. Uh, please don't come for me, I know there are way better forms of insulation, but this was cheap, relatively speaking, and easy to install. Then we put plywood over that and boom, you got a floor. I was wildly satisfied at such a seemingly small victory but I honestly feel like I could kiss the damn floor. Then we started the frame. The challenging part of this is that we accidentally threw away the pieces that hold these windows in. So we had to frame the windows and like route them to keep them in place. That added a lot of extra time to the build, which is kind of par for the course for us. By the way, what does that mean? Par for the course? I think it's a golf thing. I don't know, I don't play golf. That pretty much gets us caught up, I think. Um, and now for today's project. We are going to continue 
framing stuff. It's getting real serious. Morning. I've got my espresso from the gas station and we're ready to go. It's actually pretty good. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. It's it's not bad. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about today. I think the windows look super sick. It reminds me of a cabin. It kind of like smells like a cabin like That's good stuff. Anyways, let's get started. We got to open the windows cuz it's it's like a it's really hot in here. <laughs> also, have I told you yet today that I'm glad you're here. Okay. <laughs> you know, some people make this shit look so easy. Converting a bus, doing the whole thing. It's not, especially if you don't know anything. And that's not to say that you can't do it or that you shouldn't do it. I feel really fortunate that I get to do this and it's awesome, but it's not easy. And now I have to do one of my favorite slash least favorite things, <laughs> which is starting the bus. I love you, please start. I love you, I love you. Please start. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! You do know I haven't turned on the battery, right? Oh my god, you <laughs> asshole! Red flasher. I've never seen that before, what does that mean? Well, little situation we're having. It's an electrical problem. <laughs> So we're back to the fuse box. I thought we were done in the fuse box, but we're back to the fuse box again. If I'm being honest with myself, the wiring is really beyond what I should be allowed to touch. I shouldn't be allowed to touch wiring. That shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. But it is, so I'm gonna do it. Rather than watch us aimlessly poke around a fuse box, please look at these pretty little flowers and a little sweat bee that I saw. Isn't that nice? Isn't that so much nicer than this? Anyways, eventually we did solve the problem. It would seem that at some point one of us must have accidentally put our elbow down and engaged the like red overdrive or some like that. And now, finally, <laughs> after the huge detour, we're gonna start the bus. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we spent a lot of time figuring out what was wrong with the wiring. So all we really had time to do was figure out our grand plan for next weekend. I think this is where we're gonna have to leave it for now. Um, honestly, it's been really helpful to share and talk about it with you. I've been feeling really overwhelmed by this project. I still work full time, so it's really difficult to find time to work on this bus, but talking about it has made me feel a little bit better. I still don't know what we'll do when our lease is up, but fear not, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Thanks for helping me feel a little bit more optimistic and just excited about this, and I'll see you next time. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs>